You're wondering, are staffies easy to house train? That's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. It is super important to start training your staffy as soon as you bring them home. Even if they are a young puppy at only eight weeks old, staffies are like a sponge and soak up knowledge. Unfortunately, a staffy will quickly pick up bad habits, which you need to avoid because training out undesirable habits is a lot more challenging than dealing with an almost blank slate. Depending on the quality of the breeder, I appreciate your staffy puppy might already have learned some undesirable traits. And while you can't do anything about that, getting started on training immediately will undoubtedly help. First, let's talk about whether staffies are indoor or outdoor dogs. I say this without hesitation, staffies are indoor dogs and shouldn't live outdoors or be left outside for long periods. Staffies are prone to heat and cold sensitivities, so they should not be kept outside. Another reason is that they get bored quickly. They shouldn't be kept outside for lengthy periods as this possibly leads to destructive behavior such as digging. Staffies have a high prey drive. Combine that with boredom digging and you have a dog that will attempt to escape and chase small animals in the vicinity of your garden. Of course, there's nothing wrong with allowing your staffies some freedom to exercise and play in the garden, but I would be inclined to let them under supervision. So, staffies are indoor dogs. But do they make good house dogs? Staffies make lovely house dogs. They are heavily family oriented dogs and want nothing more out of life than to be with and please their human family. Staffies are much happier if they can spend as much time as possible with their owners. If you have a Staffy, I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say while going about your routine, they'll be following you everywhere you go around the house. Another reason why they make such excellent house dogs is they don't molt as much as some dogs. You'll not find every piece of furniture in the house covered in dog hair, thanks to their short hair and only average shedding. However, you should determine ahead of time whether or not you want your staffy to join you for cuddles on the couch or in bed, because if not, they'll decide themselves and stake their claim. Up next, are staffies easy to potty train? Staffies are intelligent and quick learners, but Staffordshire Bull Terriers have other priorities going on in their brains. So what you need to provide is consistent, loving, but patient training for this independent, strong-willed breed. Staffies, the same as all dogs, don't like to toilet where they sleep, which is why crate training is beneficial. If you crate train a Staffy, you'll soon see they will toilet at the opposite end of their crate, but that doesn't mean putting them in a larger crate. The idea is for your staffy to see the crate as their bed and train them to control the need to go until you take them outside. Of course, you must also remember that puppies have tiny bowels and a little bladder, so you must take them outside frequently. One of the major questions that get asked is, can staffies be left at home? Staffordshire Bull Terriers are not the breed of dog that's best left alone. Some dogs happily enjoy being alone, at least for a few hours anyway. But as I mentioned earlier, staffies are family oriented and if possible, would choose to go everywhere you go. Separation anxiety is a massive problem with a staffy and can lead to severe behavioral issues. I know people do it, but if you're out at work all day and there's no one home, perhaps a staffy is the wrong breed for your family. Can staffies be left alone for eight hours? A straight answer to this question would be absolutely not. While you can train a staffy to accept a couple of hours alone, eight hours is far too long for them to be alone in the house. So, how do you train a staffy to be left alone? There will always be occasions when you have to go out and can't take your staffy with you. So you must try to train your staffy to be alone, at least for a couple of hours. If I have to leave my staffy alone, I always make sure I exercise them beforehand. Aim to tie your staffy before you go. Unfortunately, it's not always possible, but do try. Exercise will do your dog a power of good, but it also means they have less energy. Hopefully this will mean your staffy sleeping while you're out rather than getting up to mischief. In addition, another way to help your staffy get over separation is to build up time away progressively. Start with a small amount of time away from them. Gradually build up the time you're away. This method teaches your staffy to understand you'll always be coming back. Overall, Staffies are a great breed and like all other dogs, it's important to train them from a very early age. Being firm and consistent is the key. Please hit the like button if this video helped you and subscribe for new Staffy videos every week. If you've got a beloved Staffy, make sure you download our four-step training guide on how to safely walk them without a lead.
This can make walks so much more enjoyable for both you and your staffy, and enable you to develop an even greater and more trusting bond. Download your free guide by following the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.